Multiple unmanned aerial vehicles with onboard cameras are a promising platform for outdoor 3D human motion capture. Existing solutions require camera calibration parameters, which are either unavailable or extremely noisy in the case of unmanned aerial vehicles. In this paper, we present AirPose, the first human pose and shape estimation method designed for multiple unmanned aerial vehicles, keeping in mind the limited compute and bandwidth available on the UAVs. AirPose calibrates each onboard camera relative to the moving person instead of a global reference frame. We use the state-of-the-art Simple X model to parameterize the human body. A possible solution for our problem is to use the state-of-the-art monocular method, HMR, for each of the UAV independently. HMR takes an image of a fixed square size of 224 pixels. The bounding box around the person is cropped and scaled to be used as the input to the networks. The cropping and scaling operation result in a new reduced camera with new focal length. Each network estimates the shape and the pose of the person in their reduced camera frame. We call this a baseline method. The baseline method has some problems, however. First, it does not combine information among the views. The inference of the person's pose and shape is done in the reduced camera instead of the original camera. A more general problem is the unavailability of the training data. A multi-view aerial data of a variety of moving subjects with ground truth poses is extremely difficult to collect. That is why no such data exists. We address these problems by making changes in the baseline architecture. First, we change the regressor stages such that they take articulated pose and shape information from the previous stage of the other view. Also, the regressor takes in the information about the cropping and scaling transformation from the full image to the cropped image. The person's pose is estimated in the reference frame of the original camera. We call this method air pose. We train AirPose using a realistic looking synthetic dataset and then fine tune using a small amount of a real dataset. We also introduce a fitting based post processing step, AirPose Plus, to improve the pose estimates. AirPose Plus takes into account the temporal consistency throughout the sequence and gives better quality poses. The synthetic data is generated using the AirSim plugin from Unreal Engine. We place realistic scans of the people in an outdoor scene in Unreal Engine with two cameras. The placing and moving of the people and the cameras and the rendering are done using the Python interface to AirSim. The ground truth simple X fittings to the scans are provided by the Agora dataset. We also collect real data by manually flying two UAVs and recording the subject in a variety of poses. We collect data using two subjects. One is used for the training and the other is used for the test data. The first UAV is kept hovering and the other UAV circle around the subject. The intrinsic calibration of the cameras is done before the experiment using the chessboard calibration method. The video sequences from the two cameras are manually synchronized after the data collection. Here, we compare the results of both the baseline and air pose using the two samples from the synthetic test data. For each sample, the middle two columns are the side view and the top view of the three meshes in 3D. The green mesh is the ground truth and the red and blue are the estimates for the first and the second view. The left and the rightmost columns are the estimated mesh overlays for the corresponding views. In the baseline case, the overlaid mesh looks fine, but the 3D view shows a significant error in the position estimate. AirPo's estimate of the depth is more accurate than the baseline. We perform an ablation study by adding individual components to the baseline. Baseline plus multi-view improves the articulated pose estimate. Baseline plus full cam improves the position estimate. Air pose, utilizing both components, gives the most accurate estimate of both the position and the articulated pose. Here, we compare the baseline method in air pose on the real-world test sequence. The meshes are relative to the static camera. We can see that the baseline estimates are very noisy, whereas air pose gives significantly better and coherent poses. AirPose estimates are useful for multiple autonomous UAVs in maintaining a formation and planning their motion. However, AirPose processes every frame independently and that is why the estimated poses are jittery when visualized in time. AirPose Plus forces the adjacent frames to be close and give smoother and more accurate results.